goes to the airport, buys breakfast. Buy breakfast. Day one, day one. We've been, te we've been teasing it for so long. Yeah, finally, like, you I'm know, we're in the so, motion now. I'm so excited, I'm dude. I'm pumped, bro. All right, so. Crew has it. So we got to explain what the crew has it means because a lot of people are like, well, you know, what does that mean? A lot of people were calling it the crew. Mm -hmm. um, but basically, so for people who don't, you know, understand behind the scenes stuff or acting wise, um, when you rehearse a scene, you know, you'll do it with the director and then they'll walk you through it. Um, block it out and yeah, whatnot, block it yeah. out. Do whatever we got to do, and then when they're ready and they go, okay, that seems um, like it's gonna work. This is how we're gonna do the scene. They call in the entire crew, so like that means yeah. like sound, Grip, um, you know, lighting, wardrobe, lighting, because they need to see, okay, what do I need to do to make this scene work? Yeah. So then once you know, me and Michael will do the scene. We'll we'll show everyone. Then the AD goes, cr the crew has it, but meaning they have. Mm -hmm. This scene, they know what it's going to be. So then mm -hmm. Michael screams at the top of his lungs. Mm -hmm. You're not supposed to do this. Mm -hmm. This is just a Michael thing. He screams at the top of his lungs. Give us one. Crew has it. He does literally that. literally had to do it on every day. So then it just know. became a thing. And then now we're like, that's what we got to name the podcast. We can't name it. it any other thing. The crew has it said. So the crew has it is what it is. And uh, we are so excited. Like me and Michael kind of toyed with this idea. For a minute. For a minute. For like a minute. last been, year, last yeah. season, we were like, we should do a podcast. And it kind of never really like. You know, came to fruition. There was a lot of other stuff. He was in New York. I was in L.A. Um, but now, yeah, we just started just rolling. Bro. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It yeah, just, just like everything just started. Boom! Yeah, this, happened, this happened, and this happened, and this happened. It was just like, damn, everything kind of happened pretty quick. Everything <laughs> just like worked out the way it should. And mm -hmm. um, you know, we're super excited. We partnered with uh, our homie John Ryan. And Shout Keenan. out to John and John Keenan. and Keenan. They pulled they up came on the boys. And brought us some you know, Gucci bags. Little first day gifts. First day gifts. So Come on now. We're Shout excited, out to the boys. man. Shout out to the We're boys. super excited. So basically, what the podcast is gonna gonna be mm. is, um, you know, it's gonna be a lot of power universe. So yes, we're gonna be bringing back your favorite characters from the OG, from Raising Kanan, from Force, everybody, from everyone. So and we, and we have like I, we have some crazy guests coming in, like from the OG power that people like fan favorites. So yeah, that's it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be so dope. We got obviously a lot of people from Ghost coming in because that's the best one. <laughs> Come on, uh, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so, you know, what we're going to do is when new episodes come out of, I think Raising Canaan is next, we're going to... Got to re recap those. Yeah, we'll recap, recap the episodes for you guys. Out. You know, we'll have fan questions come in. We can zoom in people. Like, we're going to have so much stuff that, you know, we're going to be interactive with the fans. And, you know, we'll talk about the episodes and, you know, what they thought. You mm -hmm. know, what, and then what, we got to get y'all opinions on the episode. Of before, course. You know of course. Saying, because, so. you, uh, dude, the me like, we're going to put all the memes up there. Like, everything. This, this yeah. is a whole new <laughs> level. Like, we're everything. Because we see it all. You see us reposted. But now we actually have a way to, like, long, long form talk about it. Yeah. Now everyone, like, gets to see that we actually pay attention yeah. Yeah, like all we pay the attention to a lot all of the it. Fans and yeah. We really be in tune. We be in tune. We see everything. Everything so, I think we don't see, we see it all. Yeah, so we're 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 super super excited. Um, there'll obviously be like a lot of other stuff that you know that not um that doesn't have to do with you know Power Universe, just yeah, like maybe entertainment even your industry favorite stuff. Rapper, maybe even your favorite singer. Like who knows? The baby, maybe the I don't baby, know. We'll see. Dude, that's mine. <laughs> <I'm talking. laughs> the baby, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll we'll have on a lot of people. You know, entertainment industry. We'll talk. You know, acting. I know there are a lot of people who. Always ask, how do you get Yo, on Yo, how do power? we get on power? How do we get on power? That's the biggest question. And I'm like, yeah. I wish I could tell you. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know how I got on power. <laughs> nah, for real. Though, I, don't, I literally don't even remember. All right, we'll get, we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about the audition process because I know a lot of people want to hear about that. Um, But yeah, that's kind of how it's going to go. It's going to be a, a lot of power universe, obviously, because, you know, that's where me and Michael met. And that's what a lot of people love to talk about. And there really isn't um, much out there that... That recap stuff like that, like there used to be what Power Confidential. Yeah, confidential, yeah. They, they don't do that, that no more. They don't do it no more. So, so the, now we we got you guys. No the boys had to take cover. over. Got you. Um, don't trip. Okay, yeah. So um, now Michael and I are gonna get into how we got on the show, what the audition process was like, because Michael's was how long ago? Bro, like ten years ago, almost like ten, almost eleven years. How old probably. were you? I was no, actually, no, 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 not ten. It was probably like nine or eight. I was probably. 13 turning no 12 turning 13 i think bro that's crazy audition, yeah. 12 turning 13 i believe yeah bro, so it was crazy so what do you remember from like like i remember the email coming in and being mm -hmm. like oh like that's what are you what are your first inklings of the word power like the show all right so boom um actually i was talking to my mom and my agent andrew and 
They told me. Like, Which we have the same age, agent. Yeah. Shout out Andrew. Yeah. That's our boy. Shout out, <laughs> shout out Andrew, man. You're the man. But um, basically, they just told me like, yo, um, this show, they reached out, they want you to audition. And uh, 50 Cent is producing it. Once I heard 50, I was yeah, like, yeah. that's my idol. That's 50, it. 50 been my idol since I was like seven years Yo, old. Yo, me too. I used to, bro, you <laughs> saw that G-Unit yeah, picture bro, I posted. <laughs> bro, I posted a picture on Instagram the other day. It was literally, I was like seven or eight in a mm-hmm. casino. It's literally me wearing a G-Unit shirt. <laughs> and pe- people are always like, oh, you dress like this now because you're on power this now. I'm like, nah, I put out the receipts. I was been like, I've been this. wearing G-Unit and Shady Limited since I was like six. Yeah, nah, he's been, he been doing this. He, so he been so you, you had already done, did you do that movie in Italy yet? Or that yeah, was? No, so I, yeah, that was that movie in Italy. That was the first movie I've ever done. Okay. Yeah, and then that kind of put you on the map of people yeah. like, oh, this kid. So I did that. And then after I did that, I did the movie Love. And then that's really what kind of like. Who, who, who was in that? Who directed um, that? It was uh, Sheldon Candace. He directed it. Um, Common was in it. Dennis oh, Haysbert. Fire. It was fire. It was super fire. Danny Glover. It was crazy. So yeah, that was really what kind of opened like like America's eyes to, to me. Because yeah, my yeah, first yeah. movie was in Italy. Like yeah. it was just, you know, so that was really what happened. And then. I just auditioned, bro. They they told me Fifty was producing. I said, "What?" Yeah. I said, "Hell yeah, let me do this self tape. Let's go." <laughs> I hate self tape. How old are you? Did self tape? You were like ten, right? Yeah. No, no, no. That at the time I was twelve. I was okay. twelve. So I, yeah, I was like twelve. I did that self tape. Because if you watch that pilot, bro, you bro, like you I was so bro, young. It's crazy. I was the, I was the same height as Notori, bro. I was like five three. That is crazy. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go back and recap that pilot because we bro, have to. We'll bro. talk through every scene. We'll talk through, you know. But mm-hmm. what I, when I first watched, I saw Michael. <laughs> and I was, I was like, bro, it's so crazy. Bro, I watch it. I hear my voice. I'm like, nah, there's no way I sounded like this, bro. Like, it's terrible, bro. Yeah, it's yeah. horrible. I'm like, nah. Yeah, Yo, yeah, literally yeah, that. Yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. nah, what the fuck, bro? I okay, can't. okay. So you sent in the audition. Do you remember what scene it was? Bro, I, nah, bro. No, you don't remember. Because, like, when well, it, what was your first scene in the whole show? When first, you came for breakfast? Yeah, when I came for breakfast. And so that was probably chilling. was one of them. I think that might have been the auditioning yeah. scene. Honestly. And that was with, with well, Ghost, um, Ghost, Tasha, Tasha and Raina. I think. I think Tommy was in that scene. I think he joined that scene as right. well. I, yeah. I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, that was that might have been my auditioning scene, but like, you know, the role they offered me was just quick like high and biased. So I yeah. didn't really remember. Because you originally so so um for people who don't know, there's a series regular, which means you're one of the leads of the show. Mm-hmm. There's a recurring, recurring which yeah, okay. you do like a couple episodes uh here and there. Mm-hmm. You know, it's they can write you in more, they can write you in less, it's kinda up to them. Mm-hmm. And then there's um a guest star, which is, you know, you you do like I think it's like five or six scenes for that episode. You like mm-hmm. you're a big part of the episode and then that's yes. it. And then there's a co star, which is um you do like one or two scenes for the episode and that's it. Yeah. So this was, was this wasn't a series this was recurring? Yeah, recurring. Yeah, recurring. this was recurring. And how many seasons were you recurring before you Um they gave me my season regular, I think I think season four. No, no, no. It might have been season three. Because that was when like Tariq and Kane and they started like Oh fat. Their, yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was when I became a season regular. Yeah, season three. Yeah. And that it was crazy, bro. Like the the whole transition from just becoming like you know, they had me as 12K on the course and shit. I'm like, yeah, yeah it was yeah. crazy, but I was like, it was weird, bro. Well, that's kind of similar to how I mm-hmm. like um, that happened with me, where I came in for a co-star and that. But we'll get we'll get to that. I want to I want to get in depth of, yeah, of Michael's. Uh... But yeah, man, I was just there, bro. They gave me my my my. So my... so you booked it on the self tape. Yeah, I booked. Yeah, I you booked didn't even have to go in and read in front of Courtney or anyone. Nah, I don't remember doing any of that. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't bro, remember doing crazy. any of that. That's crazy. But that's how I booked it too. Yeah, but bro. bro, that's crazy. And, and you know the thing that helped me get my my um. My season regular was, I did a, I think it was the hiatus from season two to season three. Uh-huh. Well, it might have been, yeah, it was season you two You did Orange is the New three. Black? No, I did, um, I did Barbershop. Oh, right. Yeah, I was in the movie Barbershop. And then they're like, oh, yeah, shit, like, we better they, lock they, this yeah, motherfucker down. It, yeah. And, then, and yeah. then they offered, they, that's what they offered me. We, like, renegotiated all type of shit. And I'm like, damn. And I was like, we kind of a little more that's locked in, bro. So the I work, love that. Yeah, bro, the yeah. workload definitely changed, bro. Yeah. I was, like, getting up early. I was, like, on <laughs> set for long. I'm like, oh, this is actually. And then the workload like, now compared oh. to that. Well, oh, again, we'll get into that. So, so you, you booked it and then that. So yeah. what do you remember from your first day on set? Like My first day on set, bro. Uh, it was it was crazy, bro. I, I walked into the studio. And then like, at you know, Steiner? Yeah, at Steiner. Because we've been shooting at the same, like, bro, he's been, been shooting yeah. there for it's almost. It's like my house now, Yeah, bro. it's Steiner's crazy. like my fucking house. <laughs> but um, I walked into the studio. Obviously, I, like, I, I met um everyone, like, previous to that, you know, at the table reads and everything. But walked into the studio. I go to my little room or whatever. They tell me what I got to do, get dressed. Like, I'm kind of familiar with this shit, you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, And then um, 
Then I get to the set, the fucking the, the penthouse, and, and it's like, bro, how the fuck do they do, do, do this, this, bro? Yes, I'm like, bro, I walk into this studio. They have a freaking huge ass house. I'm like, bro, this is amazing, bro. I'm just taking in everything for real, bro. Like, do you, do you remember the table read itself? Yeah, I remember. I know exactly. Were you nervous as fuck? I was. Yeah, I, I, I was pretty nervous because I knew Fifty was gonna be there. I'm like, that's Shit. why. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. yo, this is crazy. I know yeah. my exact outfit I wore for that shit too. I had. I had uh, some blue denim jeans. I had my Tims, and I had on. A, <laughs> were, I, had, yeah. I had never seen you in Tims. <laughs> yeah, but I had the Ever. Tims on, and I had my um my homie's rose jeans jacket. That shit was fire. <laughs> and I had a and I had a fire ass beanie. On. Did did because at this point. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew what power was gonna yeah. be. Like, th like this was like stars really hadn't done anything. There was Bro, I never heard. I didn't. I never heard of stars. That's what I'm that. saying. Like, mm. obviously, you know, it's it's such a, you know, uh, it's one of the big networks now. But before, like, stars wasn't really on the map. So yeah, there probably wasn't a lot of production behind it. There wasn't yeah. all this money behind it because mm. the budget was probably so much lower. Yeah, I wasn't there for those days, so I didn't really see it. I've only been around since power has been this big. Yeah, I was definitely there to see the budget see get big. Bigger. Yeah, and bigger I'm and bigger like, and bigger. Damn, they spending money, money now. <laughs> were you were you wearing like the drip, like the Montclair, the Givenchy, like all nah, that season one? I wasn't. They the, didn't have that yeah, budget. Yeah, nah, I wasn't wearing. I wasn't wearing like drip like that. I was wearing like fl like fly shit. Like yeah. they had me in like Jordans. They had me in like cool shit, but yeah. it wasn't like Givenchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't Saint Laurent. Was, was was Frank? So Frank Fleming, who's yeah. you know the main costume designer, he's been there since day one. Yeah, Frank been there since day one, holding it down. You know what I'm saying? Frank been holding. Yeah, it down. Yeah, a lot of the people who were on Power originally, um, because Ghost is like a continuation of of Power. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of the same crew, mm -hmm. uh, so it's like yeah, the same makeup people, the same that raising Canaan and Force forces in Chicago. Raising Canaan is on a different studio, so it's yeah. th it's like some of the same crew, but it's mostly like the same. Yeah, people they be still in our fucking crew members. Yeah. I don't like that it's shit. Fucked up. And then they be coming to our set with the raising with, Canaan. With the like, yeah, like what? what type of disrespectful shit is this, bro? It's, it's disrespe disrespectful. It, disrespectful. It was Daniel last week. Yes, I it was Daniel. Yeah, I posted on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it was Daniel last week. <laughs> um, okay, so you, you do the scene and it's fun, whatever. So then when do you feel power is a hit? Like, cause you didn't mm -hmm. feel it season one cause it took Trust time yeah, to, yeah, for power like, to become a hit. Yeah, I had no, bro, I did, when I tell you I did not expect the show to be like, bro, not to, in the slightest, to be this. bro. Yeah, literally, yeah, bro. Yeah. Like, bro, it was crazy. Like, I was just there, just taking everything in. I just, just well, at that point, like, like as an actor, like you're just there looking for work. Like literally. you're looking to work. Literally. So you're like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do episodes of this, and you're recurring. So then I'm gonna go on to the next thing. I'm gonna go on to the yeah, next so thing. So while I was doing that, I was doing Orange Is the New Black and stuff exactly. like that. So like, I was like, you know, how many episodes around. did you do that? I did. Um, I don't remember how many. I think I did. Uh, I did a, a good amount actually. I think I was in. I'm not even gonna give a number. Like more know. than ten or less than ten? It was probably it was less than ten. It was probably like seven, maybe. Nice, like seven nice. Eight. And how was that? Was that fun? It was pretty cool. It was yeah. cool. It was like it was definitely a way different type of energy on yeah. set than bro, it was. Bro, that's like, so with us. crazy, bro. Yeah. That's so funny that you say yeah. that because power is so different because mm -hmm. you go on set and it's like I mean I'm working with one of my best friends in the entire world, so obviously yeah. that's different. But you go <laughs> on like fire. a new set and it's just such a different vibe. Yeah, bro. Like the clothes, they put you in H yeah, and M and there's like, stuff that doesn't oh, fit you. It's like it's like terrible <laughs> shoes. And then when we get to work on power, yeah, I'm like, oh, we're yeah, like, we're back at like, it. Yeah. Back I'm to like, regular Jenna, schedule. I'm like, Jenna, Frank, where's where, Eric? Where's my Javanchi? Where's my Gucci? Yeah, I'm like, like, nah. I'm, like yeah. I'm like, listen, this Lam Von is not gonna work today. Yeah, I think yeah, I wanna yeah, wear like Prada or something. I'm like, you got the off white collabs? Like this ain't even like Yeah, bro, he comes to set, he'd be having like some off white shit on. I got like regular Jordan. I'm like, damn, you got old white today. I got just the thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's such a different experience being on Power, like, like literally like no other show. Mm. Um, so where did you shoot Orange is the New Black? In New York? Yeah, it was in New York. Yeah, like somewhere like like somewhere like Queens. They 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 were filming. At lot. a prison? Was it at yeah. the prison? You went to go visit? Mm -hmm. I think I remember that. Yeah, it was it was like it was it was pretty fire, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it was cool, but yeah. it was definitely way different energy. Than it's like just a different vibe, right yeah, now. The vibe so, was like so. Different. So then, when did you do? Um, I love how I'm like interviewing Michael. <laughs> so now you gotta interview me when I. <laughs> I got you. I'm waiting. I'm ready to go. <laughs> um, uh, so when when did you do um, the Netflix movie? Um, amateur. I yeah, amateur. Amateur. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was I filmed that. I think 2015 or 16. So you had done like three or four seasons of Power. Yeah, I did. And three, what what was yeah. that like? That that was a d different yeah, yeah, experience nah, too, amateur right? Amateur was, bro. I'm not gonna lie. That was one of the like that was one of the best times I had like do, like filming. Because you filmed on location yeah, and you lived location. there with yeah. everyone. Yeah, it was dope, bro. We was in fucking Denver, bro. It was fire, like. We were playing basketball literally every day, like chilling. Because like, the basketball it, movie, yeah, yeah, it literally felt like I was on, a, I was part of a travel team. Yeah, it was, it was That's super fire. It was yeah, fun. it is cool. It, it, the thing about because Michael grew up in New York, and I, uh, you know, I live in LA, so I get an apartment here for when I'm filming, and then I go back. Mm -hmm. But Michael grew up in New York, so he literally,
he has his normal life. Like he yeah. has all his and same his friends around. They're all <laughs> in here. Um, and it's just he goes home to his normal house. So mm. it's way different for you. Yeah, like yeah. like he literally just wakes up. He goes, "Oh, I don't have work today. I'm just gonna do my normal routine. I'm gonna go to the yeah, normal place." I feel I get breakfast. For, bro, I feel that for you because it's like, damn, like if you're not filming, like what the fuck are you doing? I, I'm texting. I'm like, Mike, what are we doing today? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, if I'm not filming, he's filming. We outside. Most so most like. so <laughs> that's why um, it's such a different experience when you're filming on location because you live somewhere. Like I did that in Mississippi when I was filming Ma. That was fire, wasn't it? Bro, I was, I was, it was I so much fun. Bro, it was so fun. We had like a um, you know, we rented a ha- like, like a the, big ass house, right? It was the director had a dope ass house. Like it was such a fun experience because you live there with everyone and the whole crew. Like imagine if we lived with our crew, bro. First off, first off, that's why my voice sounds like this because we all went out last night after yeah. we rapped, and yeah. every time a new person a, came in, what? Literally every time, every time someone new from the so crew then and in. then there was so one of our PAs we love, shout out Kai, shout out to Kai man, you shout are out the man bro, Kai, this, the man. Um, he's one of our PAs that we love. The he we were leaving, and you know our driver was taking us to uh, to the spot. I don't, yeah. I, I, shout I, out Derek. Yeah, shout out to Derek too. No, we went to. I don't even gotta tell him to put on no music. When I get in the car, he's already playing a little dirk and shit as soon as I get in early <laughs> in the morning. Yesterday. So yesterday during lunch, we literally went to we didn't eat lunch, it was a walk away lunch. Yeah, I'm like, yo, bro, what are we going for lunch? I'm like, what are we doing? Like, we usually go to like Wolfgang because we, we film like right be- uh, right above like yeah. the restaurant. So we usually go there. I'm like, what are we doing? Wolfgang today? He's like, nah, I'm going to Saks for lunch today. I'm like, I bet we are. Let's get it. Uh. So so a walk away <laughs> lunch is like it means that there's no catering. If we're in like an area where there's a lot of restaurants, it's honestly like sometimes better than catering because you best, you eat a lot of the same stuff and they'll put like a little bit of money in your check. So mm-hmm. for the crew and everything. Good. So I, I was like walk away lunch. I was like, now nah, we're going to Saks, <laughs> bro. How much like? You don't need to give us the number, but he had like 15 bags, <laughs> and I really was sitting there, and I actually was on like a Zoom call for the podcast. Like, <laughs> like, he's I was, over here like I was me trying graphics. to shop. I'm like, damn, nah, this don't fit me. I'm looking at the graph. I'm like, oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, <Yo>. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like, oh yeah, that shit looks hard. Um, so and I literally was wa- walking around like I'm on the call, and I turn around and Michael's got like 19 bags. I was like, bro, like, what did you do? He's like, I spent too much. And he's like, it's your fault. I was like, how is this my fault? I just said we wanted to go to Saks to just like look. Around, I had to get a little, you know, cologne. I'm not gonna tell you the brand because we gatekeep. Yeah, that. we gatekeep it now. We, but we, we, not, can't smoke. so that was so that was <laughs> yesterday. So uh, so Derek comes and he he like pulls up to Saks, like pick us up. I'm late coming back to set. We're literally shopping. We're like checking out, and the ads are texting us. Bridget, she's like, um, she's like, where are you? Like, uh, you need to come back. To, you know, we're we're all set up. Like, and we're what? like, we're like ten minutes away, like <laughs> shopping at Saks. Like, we're gonna be a little I'm bit. Like, Hold on, I'm running my car. Like. I still had to change. I still had more makeup to put on my face. We're like, so Derek came, who's who's uh, who. Drives and he came and picks us up and he sees us walk out with all the bags and, and he's, he's like, just looking at us like, you yeah, guys are sick of that. <laughs> sick of that. Every time we, we come back from doing something, he's just like, he knows what we were. He knows yeah. what we were up to. Wait, so what, what, what was that? The, what was I saying before? That was like the whole point of. What was the point? Oh uh, fuck. Um, who did? Who did? I, oh, Kai. Yes. Kai, okay, yes. Kai. Yeah. So, so Kai. It was like uh, two hours, you know, had gone by, and Kai told us he was coming. Yeah. And like, he just never leaving. showed up. Yeah. He never showed up to the bar last yeah, night. So I'm like, what the fuck? Like, where'd Kai go? Whatever. Like, he just had a kid. Maybe he's home. So Kai eventually walks in. You know, a bunch of people trickled in. We went, yeah. hey. <laughs> every every like five minutes, someone new came in, and then a couple hours went by, and all of a sudden, the door opens. It's Everyone Kai. looks over. Kai. It's Kai. Hey, bro, hey, hey. I screamed at the top of my lungs. That's why my voice sounds like this. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, bro, the yeah, place erupted. Speak, right? yeah, yeah, I'm not going to lie. Everyone else that was in the spot, they were looking at us like, what, what is it? Yeah. So that's people? why my voice sounds like this. And then after I screamed, I like couldn't talk. I was like, this is great. I got two podcasts. <laughs> um, so yeah, so that uh, that wraps up you with. Yeah, bro, now um, it's time for you to tell us what the fuck. Wait, so wait, but did you do anything after amateur or, or COVID happened and then we just been doing um, power sets? after amateur? We uh, I did like season four, um, yeah, season four and five, and then like after that, bro, it's just been like strictly power, like power, like been taking up my fucking schedule. And bro, then, I know because well, initially when ghost happened, mm-hmm. then we had no hiatus because yeah, it was COVID. Was so terrible. And then we went right into yeah, straight to, into season to two. go straight into season two. We had like a month off and then this season we had like, we were supposed to be one month and then they were like, so we couldn't do anything and then mm-hmm. it turned into two and three. So we had like a little hiatus to chill but like not enough time to do other stuff. So yeah, power's been really our like life anything. for like yeah, it's been your life for a long time, but it's yeah. been my like legit life for like the past like four years four, now. Years now, bro. Um, okay, so I'll tell. I'll yeah, tell bro, my story. Wanna, yeah, bro, you gotta let them know. So how 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 was it, bro? Like, when was the first? Like, what was the yeah? Like you asked me, what was the first like little inkling of power that you heard? So I got an email. So I had just booked Ma. 
mm-hmm. like a couple days before. Mm-hmm. And then I had an email come in from my agent. It was actually my manager at the time. Um, and he he had he had a couple clients on the show and he sent me the audition power. It was a co-star local hire. So which means uh, one or two scenes. Um, and local hire means you have to fly yourself there. I live in LA. I live in New oh, York. Yeah, so it's just like no out. relocation. No, no, nothing, no right? but there's they don't fly you. They don't put you up. They don't do anything. They don't even pick you up to so take you to set. Don't be trying to do that to my boy. But, but that's what I'm saying. Like that's why they get local <laughs> hires because if they're only doing one scene, it's mm-hmm. cheaper it for them. Sense, they don't yeah. need to fly someone in to do one scene. You know, there's a lot of great actors in New York. I was in LA, mm-hmm. so um. I, I almost didn't do it I because I just booked a movie and I called my, my manager and I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm going to do this to local hire. Like, uh, they a, a day rate on a show is $1,000. Mm. Think of taxes. Think of 10% to your manager. Think of 10% to your agent. You know, I was like, I'm going to make 300 bucks. The flight alone is going to cost me six. The um Thanks. the flight alone is going to cost me six. The hotel is going to cost me how, you know what I mean, whatever it is. I got to Uber myself to set. Three hundred dollars. Yeah, you're basically getting paid. So you're your no, you're gonna your lose. Flight. You're gonna lose. Oh, that shit two, is less than your. Two, <laughs> no, you're gonna lose two thousand dollars. Like, <laughs> so I called my manager and I was like, um, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna do this. And he's like, okay, no worries. Like, I literally was gonna leave to go shoot a movie in in like two weeks. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I called my mom. And I was like, she's like, how's your day? I call my mom every day. Um, shout out mom. Shout, uh, out, shout out Michael's love, mom too. Yeah. We love we Shauna. Love, we love you guys. She's like the set mom. Yeah. But so <laughs> I call my mom and I'm like, um, I'm not gonna, you know, I just got an audition for the show Power. Like, I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna like, I'm gonna lose this money, whatever. She calls me and she she was like, please, please, please do it. Me and your father love that show. We watch it all the time. And <laughs> I usually talk to her about a lot of stuff and I just and didn't you never know. Knew she watched it. And I knew what the show was, but um, and I watch everything. But mm-hmm. for some reason, I it just, just never. Because it was on stars, and I was like, I was like, I never really. It was around season five or or four. Four had come out, so it was just blowing up. Right. Like around four was when it yeah, got. That's when it really started becoming like a fucking uh, yeah, viral, a phenomenon. Like phenomenon yeah, type of thing. social yeah. media helped it a lot as well. Yeah. So I was like, really? And my mom was like, Yeah, please, please, please. So I was like, Fuck it, okay, I'll do the self tape. So. You do a self tape. Shout in, out Mama Love. Yeah, 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 yeah. literally. That, like, like, Shout out Mama Love for real. <laughs> so I was like, whatever, I'll do it. So the self tape was one scene. It was the scene where you come in mm. to the dorm room, mm. or I come into the dorm room, you're already there, mm. and I um, tell you, like, oh, yeah, my, my coat sucks or whatever. I want to <laughs> buy these pills from you because I see the pills. Yeah, I'm like, thing. get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> So, so it was. It was originally came two, in like a little. Lacro- he was a little yeah. lacrosse player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was episode. I wore. I was wearing Abercrombie. It was episode five oh six. Was my I first episode. So I send in the tape, um, and then literally uh, the next day, which this doesn't really happen. It usually takes like a week or so to hear because mm-hmm. they got to go through producers and that. The next day, I got like I called like you got the job, and I was like, oh shit. So it was December twenty third, and I was like, oh, I'll go home to Rhode Island anyways because mm-hmm. they film in New York, so this will work out. My family actually met me in New York, and we kind of did like a, a like a New York Christmas. So it was like, okay, it all worked out. So I get there day one, and the um, do you remember the director? Her name was Amy Ami Khan. Ami Khan, yes. She was like yes. a she's like a French and she director. Was, and she was dope as fuck. Yeah, I, I loved her. She was bro. Dope she's as fuck. also the reason that yes. I, I like. I'll be here. So I, I'll explain it. So um, I get to set. You know. Um, this is also the story how me and Michael met. Yes, bro. Our first day on set. So we get <laughs> to set and she comes over and she um we read the lines mm. and then like I just said what up? He said what up to me and that was it. That was it. Um <laughs> and also like I- Michael's very, this is why we get along so well because um, you don't really get along with actory actors. Mm-hmm. Not not that like it's, you know, a problem because, you know, we but there's something about people who are very dramatic and, and like driving this and that that like I don't get along with. with yeah, it. just like so <laughs> so when I come onto a new set, I try and like I'm like, hey, nice to meet you. Let's do it. And and mm-hmm. that's kind of the way that you were. But so mm-hmm. I didn't know him. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of we like, we're oh, nice like, to meet you, bro. Let's do this. Let's get it. Let's get so we work. do the mm-hmm. scene. And that's it. Yeah. We didn't say one word. The only word words to each other. we said to each other was "What's up?" and the lines. And the lines. <laughs> that's it. We went our own separate ways, whatever. And then um, that was that. So uh, we'll get back to how we became friends. But um, so we did the scene, and I, uh, you know, I left. It was. But we did a couple takes first, mm. and then since it was like December twenty third, it was like the end of the year. Most it was like a skeleton crew that day. There was only yeah, like a it couldn't a people. lot of people there. Yeah, so At everyone all. had already gone home for Christmas. So the director says to me, "Okay, these next two takes are yours." Mm. Now, mind you, I booked this as a co-star, which is two mm. scenes. Um, so 
when you're a co-star on a new show, like you don't try too much. You're just like, I'm here to. I to knew I was there to to, to okay. service Tariq in the scene. Like I wasn't there to to make it about me, and I'm not like that. But the director, thank God she did, was like, the next two takes are yours. Like, have I love fun. directors like that, bro. I right? love directors like Especially that. Especially to someone who's new on the show. Especially like, if you're new, it's like, damn, that's mad welcoming. Yeah, like, like, like I, I, I was like, wow, thank you so much. So, originally, I just came in, like, normally. But yeah. then you see how Brayden comes in, like, <laughs> yo, what like, up, yeah, homie? <laughs> yeah, like, I came in, like, okay, I'm going to bring a lot to this and, mm -hmm. and, and prove myself. And I was being funny. I was improv and jokes, this yeah, and that. It was fire as fuck. Yeah, and then, fire. so then, whatever. <laughs> like, everyone laughed, and I was like, oh, cool, great. Like, and then I just went on as an actor with my life I did the, the episode and then I started doing press for that movie that I had coming out I went and shot it and then I started doing press and then whatever whatever so the episode airs yes all the stuff yes. that I improv and, yes, and added in it. It all made it and all the other stuff got cut yeah, it was all the regular shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> the regular so then I was shit. like oh cool they liked what I did great mm -hmm. So cut to a couple months later I get a call from my manager they wrote you a whole storyline for season 6 that liked you so much I was like oh <laughs> bet I was like alright dope so I get to set, uh, I, I go to fit. I go up to um, a wa uh, 25, 25 Washington. Washington yeah, yeah, I go up to 25 Washington to fit, and Frank, our costume designer, is there. And he comes up to me, and he says, <laughs> it was, I was like, I couldn't believe he said this, but I know Frank now, so mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, that's Frank. <laughs> he literally was like, he's like catty. He's like, man, we all thought you were going to be terrible, but we loved you. <laughs> he he's like, I was like, <laughs> it was like so welcoming, but also like, why did it. you think I was going to be terrible? <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, damn, like they really like what I did. Then I went to the table read, and the, sh the showrunner, Courtney, comes out to me, and she goes, I want to let you know we were dying in the head. Mm. Like, she would, she did, everyone was just so nice and welcome. Like, you killed it. And I'm like, I had two scenes. Like, mm -hmm. I made this much of an impression yeah, in one episode. And then, mind you, like, with the table reads also, my fault to cut you off. No, no, like, no, no. Good. They, like, this is, like, this is, like, our chance to, like, add our improv, and then they revise the script, and they add whatever we, and whatever they catch that yeah. we did. So, like... He was having a ball with that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, because once I knew that they they liked yeah. what I was doing, and Courtney said to me, she's like, "Have fun, like yeah, do what bro. you're doing because you're making an impression." I was like, "Oh my god, this is bro!" Incredible. At the table read, we get the the unrevised, you know, yeah, and then we get to revise everything. This dude is improv and is in the fucking script. I'm like, yeah, because, yeah, because I, I just like I brought a lot of me to mm -hmm. Brayden, literally, which is which is why you know people fuck with it so heavy because it's like genuine and real, and like mm. I did a lot of improv comedy, I did a lot of on stage stuff, so I know like. When a lot of people improv, like they try and like, okay, I want to do this, I want to add this to my character. And it's like mm. it's not about that; it's adding to the show. Yes. So I knew like adding these jokes would make the show lighter and funnier. Like mm. Braden was never funny in the sides. Yeah, right. He was literally a character to like he was a rich asshole character, <laughs> and I <laughs> changed douchebag. it. I changed it when we did the the improv stuff that mm. all got changed, and then that's why people fucked with Braden because usually when like a white character comes into power, mm. they're they're you know they're dickheads to a mm. lot of the black characters <laughs> to do this now, which right. that's a lot in real life so mm. i get where that comes from i'm not saying it doesn't happen mm. um but brayden wasn't like that he was he fucked with Tariq immediately right when mm. i came it's in like, and hold did on that. this kid is mad cool Bro, so that's why people were like oh shit like mm. so i come in um and then the last thing that was crazy was 50 was there and yes, i was so I nervous for day. the table read that, i was so nervous and he comes up to that me at breakfast my insane. first day at 601 and he goes man like you fucking you're killing it bro keep mm -hmm. going and i was like nah. and you know 50 how he comes he's like yeah, my young and killing shit. You know oh, I know, and I was like, nah. Fifty just was, came it, up. was that the day he, you did that video when he was sitting in your in your chair, or was that no, a no, different that, day? that was ghost. That was ghost. That, that was that, later. That was ghost. But but when yeah, that was ghost. I swear we did a video and because he, he because was sitting in uh, the girl chair, who, the, Andrea, yeah, she he was sitting in my chair because Andrea was in the background. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So that was season one of Ghost. So so fifty um came up to me. I was like, oh shit. So I do episode one, fly back to L. A. I do episode two, um. Episode one, I think I had like a couple lines at the end of the of the episode where I asked him about his uh, about his dad about ghosts. Mm. So episode two was like me and Michael had like three or four scenes together. So we're sitting there. I, I remember this fly ass Valentino tracksuit I was yeah. in. I don't forget what you were in. I don't know. I don't remember what I was in, but you definitely had the Valentino. <laughs> I, I don't remember, remember that. that shit. That shit was. So then fire. I'm like, damn, hold on, that shit. So fire, then uh, <laughs> uh, me and Michael had a scene together, and I forgot what happened. Like someone said something about a girl, yeah, and someone said something about, about a, car, a car, and we went. I think I fuck with you. I was like, hold on. I was, <laughs> yeah, like, I was like, where? I was you? like, I think I fuck with like, you. Like, you on that? I, I bet. Yeah. And then, and then f literally from that second on, like, we were having so much fun on yeah, set. Bro. We would go to each other's dressing rooms, like, and I usually just sit there and I'm like, I prepare. 
Mm. We would just start going to each other's dressing rooms and kick we it. Just chill, chilling, reading the scenes and shit, just like listening. Bro, we to the was music. having so much fun. I was yeah. like, I was like, this is like, this, this is, is so shit. dope. And then yeah. Alex came in the mix. Yes, she bro. came in six oh three, I think. Yeah, it was yeah, 603. 603. I remember and that day us, too. I just 50 remember was there that day yeah, too. Yeah, we have all, so then that's that when was, that's when 50 was directed. Yes, he was direct he directed that episode. So so we were we were making videos and like mm. because Ghost and Tommy didn't really do that much. They yeah. weren't heavy in the social. Mm. Once we started doing that, people really fucked with our relationship yeah. offset. Mm -hmm. And it kind of like brought Braden and Tariq again closer because the writers were like, oh, they Hold fuck on. with they each other. They have like a real life fucking relationship. Exactly. They just started implementing that in the show and it just... So, so 603, 50's directing. That shit was fire. That, bro. That so was one of the That was like days. so crazy because I'm like, this is, this is wild. So he um, comes up to me and Michael and, uh, you know, we didn't know about the spinoffs at this point. We thought yeah. Ghost, you know, or we thought Power was, you know, just going to go longer. So he comes up to me and Michael and he goes, you guys take over. Like, 50's mad cryptic. Yeah, he's mad cryptic. He literally <laughs> yeah. just be like, that's taking over. Yeah, and, like, and then, and then we'll, uh, I'm like, I, I, at this point I'm a struggling actor. So I'm like, what do you mean, I'm man? Like, Am I going to be able to eat? Like, what does this mean? <laughs> so so he goes, you take over. He walks away. Also a hilarious thing. Am I going to be able to eat? Also a hilarious thing. He, uh... This is also the same day where he restarted the beef with Ja Rule because we went upstairs to go change because he blocked out the whole scene. 50's first day directing for, for us. He blocks out the entire scene. So so 50, he goes upstairs and uh, no, we go upstairs to change after we blocked out the scene. And he comes, uh, you know, I'm in my dressing room. I change and I'm sitting there. We still have time and I'm refreshing Instagram. All of a sudden I see 50 posted something and it, he po he bought all the front row yeah, seats. Yes, so all the tickets to Ja Rule's yeah, show. He brought all the empty. front row seats to Ja Rule's, um, to ja Rule's show and posted it. He literally just rekindled like a 50-year <laughs> massive rap beef in the middle of him directing. Directing a, like his Bro, debut too. That I was, was his like, first time directing. I was like, this motherfucker is different, dog. I love him. So then we come back downstairs. Whatever we do, the scene fifties directing, and then like we had done like eight or nine takes. <laughs> we had done like eight or nine takes, and he. Um, I go lie. We don't do that many takes, bro. Yeah, did we do? Did we? we uh, but he, I, I remember like we had done, we had done a lot, and then he literally picks like up six, his phone. And he goes, six, six. "Oh shit, I totally forgot. Uh, I reached, I, I posted this thing." <laughs> and he's like, "Yeah, look." <laughs> I'm like, "You forgot you did that." So th that's like that was a hilarious fifty story. But um, so again, he says, "You guys take over." He walks away mad cryptic. Wait, wait, I'm looking at him like, what the fuck is he talking about? So then I come back, I do episode four. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I come back, I do episode four, and then that was it. I never heard from anyone again. And I was like, fuck, I guess I... Um, I take over. Yeah, I guess, no, no, I, no, I thought, I, thought, no, I guess that like, was it. Yeah, 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 I guess I was like, I guess that was it. You you had done all the episodes that season. So I did one through four, and then, then I left. So um, I was like, damn, 50 lied to me. Like, I guess we don't take over. <laughs> that The shows start airing. And um, or did did Power air before we season six air before we found out about Ghost? This is where it gets a little foggy. Hmm. I think the spinoffs got announced beforehand. Yeah, they, they told but, us yeah, why we were filming season six. Yeah, but I didn't know about it. So because no yeah. one told me. So yeah, I he told he told us that like we take over and then like probably a little bit after that he told me he came to me he's like yo you know you about to have your own show right? I, this is literally the story I yeah all the time like I'm like what are you talking about bro? Just laugh it off. I'm like I fifty whatever. Like, yeah, yeah. And then a few weeks after that, that's when Courtney told me. I'm like, oh shit, this is real. Like, we about to really have. This. Yeah. We about so to have then, so then Courtney <laughs> called me like probably a couple days after that, and she's like, um, "Who's your agent? Uh, you are one of the leads of the spinoff with Michael." And I went, "What? <laughs> this? Mind you, this was two scenes from episode five that turned into a recur in season six that turned into a lead of." Of, isn't that fucking crazy? Look at that, look at that motherfucker. Bro, bro. isn't that? Look at that cute little motherfucker. <laughs> isn't that fucking crazy? So so that's kind of like the story. Like, no, like Michael's is a little similar, like how he came in as a smaller character and people fucked with him. And then kind of like me, like I came in as yeah, a smaller Yeah, but once character. I started being a badass, it was over. It was like, oh, yeah, we're going to milk this story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> And that's how it works with TV because they're kind of looking in what, you know, what direction the writers are, are going to go. Mm -hmm. And so, then the thing with our writers, too, like, they see what the fans react to, and exactly. then they just be like, oh, word, I bet we're going to just fucking juice it then. Yeah, because people really fucked with our relationship in six, so mm -hmm. then they're like, so I'm curious, like, what do, what do you think the spinoff, without Brayden, mm -hmm. what do you, do you think Tariq would have been at Stansfield? Do you think he would, this would have been a totally different knows? thing? I feel like, obviously, his, it, with his circumstances, he had to go to college, no matter what, yeah. obviously, after killing his dad, so 
I think he he would have um I think he would have been in Stansfield, but without Braden, man, who who knows what the fuck he would have been I'm, doing, I, bro? I'm like, so curious at what where the like obviously you know like it would, but I just don't know what yeah, the show would nah, look like. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. Nah, can't even imagine because it without. Like you needed a, a you needed a partner in crime. Yeah, you needed, needed a, a right hand man like Ghost had Tommy. You know exactly. that's why we get a lot of the same comparisons. It's mm-hmm. like you needed that. So then I think. Um, the writers are like, oh, these two, like unconventionally, they fucked with each other. Mm-hmm. Like, cause it, most of the time it's like, oh, people who grew up together at five, like, but we mm-hmm. didn't, ha- you yeah, didn't we, have that. Yeah, we literally met in school, like on some funny ass shit. Like you're trying to buy pills off me, you don't even know me. I'm like, yeah. get the fuck out of here. That's, and then like the, the character's relationship just started booming from there. So, that so, so that's how, that's how Ghost happened. That's how I heard about it. And then, so you, 50 told you on set. Yeah, bro, 50 told me on set. I forgot what episode we were on, but he just comes up to me, he's like, so he's like, oh, you know, you gotta get ready soon. I'm like, get ready for what? He's like, you gotta have your own show. I'm like, but and that's crazy. So like, that is so crazy from being just a character on a show to them going, you like, you are the fa- you are mm-hmm. number one on the call sheet. You are the face bro, of like, this show. And at this point, the show was massive. So huge, it's like you're bro. taking over, a- and everyone hated my character. So I'm like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? I what know. do you mean I'm about to have my own show? Nobody yeah. is watching this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't like to. But so many people were saying that too. So many people were yeah, like, we're was not, like, not watching, watching this, the show with Tariq. This. Literally one episode of them showing Tariq's circumstances and why he's like it. People were like, oh, we love him. It was bro. Our writers are insane. Yeah. Nah, like yeah, how they writers go crazy, bro. I don't know how they flipped it. I don't. I never thought they would. It would like it would be possible for people to like to read. It, it, but so, now you're <laughs> one of the most loved characters in the, in the whole universe. So crazy. my question is, what what's your favorite? Uh, and I'll answer it after. What's your favorite power scene? And mm-hmm. what's your favorite ghost scene? My favorite power scene, I would have to say the scene where uh, where Kanan dies. That scene oh, is fire bro. as fuck, bro. I must. I'm gonna say that's my favorite because, bro, the shit. Your we... your, your favorite scene in general, or your no, favorite no, no, in power, in power. Yeah, but I, uh, uh, oh, so in, oh, do oh. do your favorite scene in general, and then your favorite scene that you were part of. Right, Actually, so... I should have been more clear because I'm curious what your favorite scene in the whole show is. I'm not gonna lie, yeah, the um the same thing. Same yeah, thing. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Yeah, that like, was a crazy. I love scene. that whole shit because, like, just from the top of the scene to the bottom of it is just insane. So. Bro, the shit we went through to get that scene done was crazy. It was like fucking raining. It was cold as hell outside, bro. 50 was 50, mad sick, Yeah, he got too. sick as hell after yeah. he was done with that scene, bro. I heard about that. I heard he was like snorting, yeah, like starting up and then going, all right, no, another take, another yeah, take. Yeah, bro, it was crazy, bro. He had to like get fake blood on him, so he was like And then he owned, he, he owned like 50. This is a, like a known thing on the power set. It's a joke. Like everyone has these beanies from like season four. Mm. He walks around. He calls himself One Take Danny. One Take Danny. He literally does one take. He and he's like, directly. you guys got it. He's like, look, I, listen. I give you as many takes as you need, but I only need one take. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit has me cry every yeah. time. So then everyone bro. walks around with these beanies that and say one, one take, take Danny, Danny. <laughs> and, it's 50, and it's 50's face. Like, it's mad that funny. Day. He Because he, Kanan died before mm-hmm. I got there. Yeah. So I never, I mean, he, never he, got to really... he directed me, but I never got to like film with Kanan, which would have been That would have been crazy. With Imagine and Braden and, and, and Tariq and, and That'd be and wild. That would have been some wild shit going on in that episode. Yeah, that's, that's a fucking dope scene. So me, I would probably say my favorite scene in Power. But I, I want to tell you why it was my oh yeah favorite. no okay yeah, please because like obviously Kanan knows what the fuck happened he knows Tariq set him up bro yeah. and you see you just see him looking at Tariq at the end like looking like everyone thought he was gonna kill him and shit and just like he just looks at him he's like nah he's like he sees he sees himself in Tariq yeah. he's like nah like he just lets it rock and he just does what he, whatever he does bro he kills the other cops and then he just goes out like a gangster when you <laughs> watch that were you lo- like like because I'm getting goosebumps now mm-hmm. thinking about you literally, like, you killed off, like, 50 Cent in the show. Like, yeah, that's wild crazy. to think about. Crazy. Did you, like, like oh, my God. Like, yes. this is fucking... Bro, I watched that scene, like, four times. Like, one, like yeah, yeah I, bro, I do that times. shit, too. Like bro, I was like, damn. Like, the whole sequence, the shooting of it, like, everything was just fire. And then, like, the ending, where he's just looking at you, he's just like... Damn, I can't believe you did that. Like, yeah, he's <laughs> like, damn, you did me dirty, but I'm gonna let you rock, though. <laughs> I'm gonna let you rock, yeah, yeah. though. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Who, 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 who's your favorite character in the original Power? Besides you, or, or somebody you like doing scenes with. Favorite character in the original, um, I fucked with Sean. I'm not gonna lie, Sean was cool, bro. Yeah. Like, Sean was like that was really Tariq's homie right there. Yeah. I fucked with Sean. Um, obviously, like the like the crazy motherfuckers, like Lobos. Yeah, I yeah. With Lobos. Oh, yeah, dope. Super dope. We gonna have on all these motherfuckers. Like you're gonna hear in depth conversations like this. Julio, all of that. Julio, yeah. Julio, J- bro. Proctor, Proctor yeah. all these guys are coming on. Yeah, but so, anyways, yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I would say yeah, yeah. I would say like Sean, Julio. Um, like all the all the motherfuckers yeah. that was just doing the grimy shit. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm yeah. I, I love that yeah, because, shit. Yeah, that's a fun shit to do. <laughs> when I was little, I could I wasn't able to do that shit. So I was just watching. And I'm like, damn, this is this looks fun. Yeah. And now we the ones doing this yeah, shit. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> well, this season's crazy. Hold on. <laughs> this season. Huh, huh. 
crazy. But, but yeah, yeah. So, so my, I would say, uh, my favorite scene in the original Power, dude. I think that scene is so crazy. Where Ghost, um, you know, rest in peace, Charlie Murphy. But he, mm. he killed the, uh, the, the guard because. So I didn't watch any Power episodes until I had wrapped the whole show because, um, unknown fact, I did have a scene with Tommy. Remember, he mm -hmm. came in our dorm room. Mm -hmm. And he, yeah, and he he called me Bieber, and yeah. I ran out. Yeah, I remember that shit. Yes, but we but film that. yeah, but it wound up getting cut to he's already in the room, mm. and he's like, "Where's my shit, Tariq?" Mm. I was in that scene, but I, for some reason, it probably for time they cut it. Um, so I didn't want to have already have watched the episodes because if I see Tommy coming in, I don't know who he is. He looks like a scary dude. Mm -hmm. If I'd watched six seasons of him, I'd have had a different reaction and been like. Oh, like freak the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I don't know him. So as Brayden, the character, mm -hmm. he wouldn't be, he'd be, oh, who's this guy? I'm going to get dipped. dip. So that's what I'm saying. I didn't want to know too much. I had filmed all the scenes of Power, and then I watched six seasons in literally two days, and I went, I'm on this show? <laughs> this is <Yes>. fucking <laughs> insane. Yes. And then I was like, oh, my God, like, this is nuts. So I was like, yes, like, I just wanted to do more and more and more. So that scene where the where where you're in the you you're in that scene you're in the passenger seat scene where where the Jamaicans pull up and Ghost mm -hmm. gets out and shoots everyone. Yo, that scene's crazy. The game. Yes, mm -hmm. that scene's crazy. And then the scene where um where Ghost kills uh the the prison the guard Charlie Murphy mm -hmm. because when that happened I was like he's done he's getting killed off like there's no coming back from this. Mm -hmm. When he came in and changed the thing like I was like. It, it blew Don't my mind. Think of him, bro. It blew Don't my mind. So that was probably my my favorite my favorite thing. My favorite scene in when that that I filmed in in uh, Ghost was when I came to um, uh, in the dorm room and I was like, oh look at all the money we just yeah, made. Yeah, you start throwing the money up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah not that that funny. was so much fun because I just remember like that was the day we were like bro. boys and I was yeah. like, oh after this like said we was chilling on set we was like. Talk about girls and cars. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then we just having fun with it, bro. He's like, it's like regular shit. Like now, that's what we do. You just come in with mad money. Bro. And I, and I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Of what, my favorite scene from the from from Ghost is probably like, cause I like doing the street shit. It's, like, yeah, I've bro. been saying to the writers, I'm like, ah, just give me more. Like, I like mm -hmm. being brave, but like, I want to do the grimy shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I like doing it. I love the jewelry. So so yeah. uh, probably like the the stuff with Kane on the corner and that Julie stuff. Julie heist. Yeah. Oh, the Julie heist. Yeah. I for, I forget because I don't want to spoil stuff because we're filming season three right now. Mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil stuff. So yeah, the Julie Heist was that probably was fire. probably my favorite thing I ever did. That boy went in there, no mask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, okay, we're we're gonna take some some fan questions right now. We'll we'll take a couple fan questions and we'll sign off. Yeah. And then, bro, like this. This is crazy. Bro. This is gonna be so much fun. Bro. I can't we're wait just, to really like getting y'all set in. We're to yeah, to really like set. chop it up with like the OGs, the other people on the bro, shows. That's like be amazing, bro. We gotta bring gonna bring your favorite characters here, man. Y'all can't. Y'all need. Y'all not ready. We're gonna do um we're gonna do a new segment, which um everything's actually new to you guys because yeah. um this is a, <laughs> it's a new show. Literally. <laughs> I'm new to this, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> um yeah, so we're gonna do uh we wanna take questions from you guys. Like Yeah, we wanna talk to the fans. We wanna see what y'all thinking about. What's on y'all minds? Exactly, so. especially when the episodes come out, like that's gonna be fun where people ask stuff about, you know, when the episode, the last week's episode, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So this week, obviously, we don't have any episodes airing, so we just have um questions from Instagram. So make sure you follow the crew has it Instagram at yeah. the crew has it. Send them and questions. Send questions. Send, we'll questions send the DMs, we'll post stuff on stories, we'll post swipe ups, and you guys can just send stuff right. in and we'll Sound pick what up. we like. So the first two um, that we're gonna do this week is uh, from at the local black poet. I've seen him on Instagram a lot. He's a big power fan. Really? Yeah. He shout he, out to the local black poet, man. Uh, they said, "What was the biggest challenge you had to face on the show, and how has it impacted you?" Mike, take it away. I mean, it's not really too many challenges. And shit. <laughs> no, it's just, He's it's like, just, I just show up and I like do not it. like on some real shit. Yeah. Like being like like being that I've been this character for like damn so near long. ten years, yeah. bro. Is just like. It's all like muscle memory, you know what I'm saying? I know the story, I know the backstory, yeah. I know all like everything about the family. Yeah. So it's just like you live and breathe this, so you know what yeah, Tariq you know? would do and what. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. It's, I wouldn't say it's no challenges though. It's definitely challenges. I mean, listen, like, bro, it's challenging when we get picked up at four o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, for sure. And we're there until you know sometimes <laughs> seven at night, eight at night, bro. Nine at night. We had thirteen hour days, fourteen hour days. Like so, it, shit, that shit yeah. does get challenging. Don't yeah. don't don't take that as like this shit is easy. Bro. Yeah, it's we work hard, long days. Early mornings, late nights, it's a, it's a lot, but yeah, I would say I would say for me personally, with the Braden character, um, he's 
I, I like the the biggest challenges I had is finding the funny, but also finding the seriousness. Because mm-hmm. obviously, you see every season Brady gets darker and darker. You do well and darker. with that shit, though. Yeah, but I, fire, I, bro, no I, I, I do do. I agree. It's Thank you fire, so much, bro. Michael. I really appreciate you saying that. I <laughs> do do fire, a great bro. job. <laughs> but sometimes, like you'll you'll get a script and and it'll be like okay, a scene with Kane, and I'm like okay, he's menacing. But also, people like the comedy in that. Like, you and I, we always, you know, it's seamless. I never have to worry about how I play something with Tariq because I just know. But when I have different characters, like when I had a scene with Mary J. Blige last season, I was like, I I don't want to put in a joke here because... But I but that's Brayden's instinct that's is, to, Brayden. is to be funny and be charismatic. Mm. So sometimes I struggle with being like, when does a scene call for Brayden to be really serious? And when does a scene call for Brayden to make a joke? Mm-hmm. Because... I also talk to a lot of people who like do trap and like have been in it. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times what they say, what we see on TV is like sometimes not all of it. Like some of the biggest trappers I know are the funniest people in the world because that's like the way that they are. So that's kind of how I, I play Braden is like, it doesn't need to be serious just because they're dealing drugs. Like, yeah, it is serious business because people die and this and that. So Mm -hmm. you do have to take that into account. But I, I like, the comedy of Braden, but sometimes I'm like, I got to find a fine line to where I'm not this goofy, goofy character that mm-hmm. no one takes serious, mm-hmm. but also, um, I, I want to bring the lightness to the show. So, so that's, that's something that I, uh, that was one of my challenges, but right. Like the she long days no is tough. It is, man. Come on. Yeah. Man. Nah, no it's, 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 it is, <laughs> man. Ain't no it is, man. That's so read the, one, <laughs> read the next one. Read the, read the next. Okay. So power TV fans, they ask who is one actor or actress you would want to work with and why? Take it away. Um, I would, That's such I mean, a tough question, I mean, yeah, it is a tough question. Who I would want to be on, on power. Mm-hmm. It would be dope to have like, uh, you know, like Dave Chappelle would be Ooh, sick. That would like be that'd like... be like such like a, a fun, like, like, uh, older character to come mm-hmm. in and like, I just, I mean, and I love Donald Glover, so I think he'd be really cool. I, lo- I like Atlanta and That's all that biased. stuff. I like how those, those are two comedic people. Mm. Um, and then, like, actor-wise, who would want to work with, like, obviously, like, Leonardo DiCaprio, but he's not doing a guest star on it. <laughs> 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 he's like, fuck that. What about you? Um, I definitely, I want to work with Mike Epps, bro. He's oh, yeah. Fuck, oh, 100%. Bro. Shout out to Mike Epps, yeah. bro. He is hilarious. I want to work with Mike Epps. That would be pretty, like, he would be pretty be fire on, on our too. show, bro. He yeah. would be fire on our show. Um... And just like in general, uh, man. Like, who, lot, who's your bro. favorite actor in the world? Like, right now. Right now. Because for me, it changes every day. Yeah, it changes a lot. I'm not going to lie. I was, like you said, Leonardo DiCaprio, obviously. You know, Wolf of Wall Street was one of my favorite movies. Um, fucking Denzel, obviously. Yeah. Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah. He's fucking amazing. Bro, I saw him in that American Buffalo play yeah, a bro. couple. Bro, he. Fire. Killed that. Oh, Fire. it was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I saw yeah. it. I went with Johnny and Keenan. Yeah. Oh, he was so good in it. Yeah, definitely um, Lawrence Fishburne and like Denzel. And, yeah. But yeah, you know, Samuel. Yeah. You know, Samuel yeah. L. Jackson. All of those, yeah. All yeah. the greats, you know? Bro, we are so excited. Um, that's yeah. it. That's the first episode. We're wrapping up the first episode. But this episode. is what you're going to get every week. Like, we're going to be talking to Power OGs. We're, and also, I didn't bring up earlier. It was so funny. We we cut before the. um. Where we where we change the segment and the producers like you were so excited at the beginning I was like okay great <laughs> I forgot to mention that we like it's called the crew has it we're gonna have crew members on like yeah. we we Literally, we're not we're not gonna, just gonna have celebrities on we do we are gonna have the people from the show and talk about it but we're gonna we, see this shit from every aspect we're gonna have on the costume designer producers. Yeah. Costume designers, yeah. like 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 Pizza Frank will Rich. come in and talk about why he chooses certain clothes for Tariq. Why yeah, he because they it. literally like the, there's the so much the that goes into it. It's not like just oh this fit this fit. Like yeah. they literally look at the story and like okay this makes sense for him to do. Like exactly. they really put a lot of time and, and work into. We're we're gonna and, have oh, into we're gonna have movie. Monica on like the, yes. the writers, mm-hmm. the showrunner Courtney, you know Brett, the new showrunner. Like everyone's gonna come on and just talk about what they do. Like yeah, what, and y'all see everything because yeah. listen, we're the faces of the show. Like mm-hmm. we're we're the actors. We're we get all the credit mostly, but, but the people who are there before us setting up the sound people, the cinematographers, yes. the DP, they don't get like, enough credit, bro. They put in so much work and that, you know, I, I didn't highlight it earlier enough, but like, those are the people we want to highlight as well as the actors. Mm-hmm. You know, we want to show how this stuff gets made. Yeah, like bro. it's, it's, it's a, cause without a lot of these people, this shit would not be possible at all. So. At all. Shout out to every single last crew member. Like, from so the, the so yes, bottom. The crew has it and you have it. That should yeah. be our thing. I like that. The crew has, <laughs> the crew it, has and it, it and you have it. You have it. <laughs> that is ep- I just thought of I like that. that. I like that. <laughs> that is episode fucking. one is in the can. It's so the books, baby. we're so excited. Thank you so much for tuning in. Love you all. Later. <laughs>
Fuck yes. Fire. Make sure y'all find us on Instagram at the crew has it. Yep. TikTok, all of that. Mike Rainey Jr. Instagram. Johnny B. Paolo. Yes, sir. And yeah. uh, if you want to follow at Where is 22. Yeah, you it's, can follow Where is he 22. Has, it's crazy. He has two Instagrams. <laughs> and it's actually genius because <laughs> the original Instagram, like the Where is 22 one, was a little smaller, but it was still verified. Mm -hmm. And he would just post like crazier shit on there. And the Michael Rainey Jr. is more for business. Yeah, but now everyone follows the Where is yeah, 22 so one, too. Like, I don't, I'm not even low key no more. <laughs> so I, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I gotta they, do that. Everybody just sees the crazy shit I post. Yeah. Now. It's whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make sure you follow us. Make sure you subscribe so the episode when it comes out, you yeah, get a you notification. Want the notifications, don't et cetera, et cetera. Don't so. miss out. But yeah, we out. Bro, I just want to tell you, you're like the coolest dude. No, on you're the planet, like the coolest bro. senior fan, bro. Like you're cool as fuck. You're fucking cool, bro. Hey, you're cool, bro.